Hello everyone and welcome to Learn to Learn. Today in this third video I would like to show you how to practice oral production if you don't have a partner, if you don't have the possibility to find someone to practice with. We are going to use Audacity uh, and we are going to see how you can improve three things. Your pronunciation, how to interact with someone with the language and how to use the language and shadowing. So let's go. So in this first part of the video, I would like to show you how to create an interactive conversation. You would need two things. The software Audacity, you will find the link down below. It's a free software that you can install. It's very simple to use. It's a software where you can edit audio documents. And of course, the source document in a language you want to learn. So for me, for example, I use a dialogue from the book Complete Swedish. I have the book and I have the mp3. It's very nice because I can really follow what uh, people are talking about because the conversation is written in a book. But for you in this video, I wrote on the left side of my screen the conversation. So the idea is to open the audio with Audacity and to remove uh, the part where you are supposed to speak because the conversation is between two persons or more. So you have to delete the part where the person is talking. So for example, uh, if he was here, you, I would hold like this, press and press and then press delete. And you have to do this. I deleted all the answers as you can see here. Because I will speak and then we will see uh, how it goes. It's a very good activity to practice uh, oral production. So let's try together. I will show you a little demonstration. Our what is nice is you can pause, you can take your time, you are not so stressed and sometimes it can be a little bit stressful if you speak with your tutor, so in order to warm up, it's very nice to do this if you will have a class or you just want to practice, so let's take a look. Good morning. Passe, tack. Varsågod. Vad heter ni? Vi heter Benjamin och Lucas. Varifrån kommer ni? Vi kommer från Frankrike. Vad har ni för yrke? Vi har franska lärare. Har ni varit i Sverige förut? Det är första gången. Hur länge ska ni stanna? Uh, bara två dagar. Det var allt, tack. Trevlig resa. Tack så mycket. Hej då. So you can practice again and again. Here I want it to be a bit fast. But of course you can reduce the speed. You can pause between each question to take your time. But if you want to increase the level of your conversation and make it a little bit more challenging for you, just do like I just did. But of course, you can pause and select what you want to do. Also, I wanted to show you that you can uh, record what you are saying at the same time and have uh, a, real, a real false audio conversation with a native. So if you go to Edit, Preference, you will have to select channels mono and then you will go to recording play other tracks while recording it's very important to check this document this box in the second part of the video i would like to show you how i practice my speech in swedish how you can uh, you guys uh, practice your accent in a language you want to learn so the idea is to find an audio document where you have a uh, speak and repeat or if they ask you to translate sentences uh, and so on. So with Audacity, the nice thing is, yeah, is that you can really hear yourself. You can really compare your, the way you speak, the way you pronounce some words or sentences compared to the native. So once again, I'm using uh, complete Swedish because they have a lot of activities where you can repeat things. And I will show you how I'm using it right now. So I uh, open in Audacity my MP3. I start the activity, but I will also uh, record at the same time what I'm doing. So let's take a look and then we can compare uh, my pronunciation versus the pronunciation of the native speaker. Let's take a look. Exercise eight. You've just met a Swede. Say hello. Ask what he's called. Hey, vad heter du? Hey, vad heter du? Jag heter Bo Svedberg. Ask if he comes from Sweden. Kommer du från Sverige? Kommer du 
Kommer du från Sverige? Ja, jag kommer från Sverige. Aske Philips i Stockholm. Bor du i Stockholm? Bor du i Stockholm? Nej, jag bor i Göteborg. Okay, so now you can see we have the full uh, length of the video and we will be able to uh, compare my pronunciation versus the pronunciation of the native. It's kind of interactive, it's at least better than nothing if you have absolutely no one to talk with the language. And you have, uh, you have a feedback, this is nice, because you don't need someone uh, to... Exercise 8. You, not, you don't need someone to explain to you uh, how to say things. You can have an automatic feedback. Once again, it's not perfect, but it's one more tool uh, I give you today to at least have an idea of the pronunciation. So it can be very useful. So let's listen a little bit. Exercise 8. You've just met a Swede. Say hello. Ask what he's called. Hey. What hey, hey, the hell do you? Hey, what the hell do Jag heter Bo Svedberg. Ask if he comes from Sweden. Kommer du från Sverige? Kommer du från Sverige? Ja, jag kommer från Sverige. Ask if he lives in Stockholm. Bor du i Stockholm? Bor du i Stockholm? Nej, jag bor i Göteborg. And if you want to practice again and try to improve your pronunciation to be as close as you can, uh, as you want or as you can to the native speaker, you just click here to delete the audio you just recorded and try once again. And in the third part of this video, I would like to show you how you can use Audacity for shadowing. Shadowing is an activity where you speak at the same time as a native speaker. Uh, why shadowing? Uh, because you can see really about your pronunciation and you can also practice the prosody and the intonation of the language. This video is not about shadowing, but uh, it's a very nice tool if you like to practice shadowing. If you want to discover what is shadowing and learn more about it, I might make a video later on about it. So, let's take a look. Uh, you need to find uh, a document source, so an audiobook would, is really nice if you want to do shadowing. I open my audiobook. I would like to show you a little example of what we can do with Audacity. Uh, of course, you need to have the script on uh, one side, or you can even write it. And you will have to listen at the same time and repeat. I'll not repeat, but speak exactly with the same flow. Uh, it's not easy, but the idea here with um, Audacity is to reduce the speed of the video. It will help you, uh, at least in the first first time, in the first part, to uh, practice and then you can listen at a real, piece, a real uh, pace. So let's take a look. Vi är högt uppe i luften. So then you pause and you repeat. Vi är högt uppe i luften. Then you go back and you do it again. But since this time at the same pace. Vi, Vi är högt uppe i luften. Jag tittar ner. Okay. So you can see now the next sentence. Go back and you do it again. Vi, Vi är högt uppe i luften. Jag, Jag tittar, tittar ner. ner. Jag ser marken där nere. Etc. 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 So you can practice different different ways with shadowing, and I hope it was useful for you. You can try one of those activities. You can modify them, but you know at least it's there. So thank you very much for watching if you are still here and see you soon.